hey everyone in today's video we are going to see how do you block an incoming call on ribbon spc edge so let's take the scenario here so here i have a call manager which is having extension is 30000 series range and there is a phone which is 30001 registered to this call manager and here i have a ribbon sbc edge sitting here uh, which is talking to the internal as well as the public interface or let's say the cloud itself right and here is a ps channel line which is uh, a service provider network right that is connected by the cloud to the on-premise sbc now there is a person um, who is a valid caller as 10007 and there's another person as 10008 is a nuisance caller he's calling from the call center and disturbing the people so basically uh, this guy uh, 30001 has reported like uh, there's a call coming in from 10008 and that needs to be blocked because the person is disturbing every now and then in order to sell something right so now we'll see how do you block an um, incoming call based on the caller id on ribbon spc so right now uh, let me show you if the call between uh, ribbon spc and uh, or uh, let's say the nuisance caller right if he's trying to dial uh 30001 he should be able to dial okay, okay. so the call rings so pretty much he's able to call right now so let's go ahead and you know uh log into the spc and block this call coming from uh, the service provider carrier network to the call manager all right let's go to the spc and do the required configuration so i'm logged into the sbc right now and i go to the transformation and create a transformation as call block let's say call blocking and in this uh, call blocking i'm to, going to create a rule here like uh, the rule would be let's say block one and here i'm going to uh, say like call coming in from uh, calling address or number is 10008 and in the output output field i'm going to put it as let's say uh, value i'll put some value as block okay so this is the first tool i've created call coming in uh, calling from the address number is 10008 and output field i have put the value is block here now what i have to do is i have to now navigate uh, this to the call routing table and do the required configuration for this to work right so what i do here is now i'll go to the service provider to cocm and here i am going to add a rule add new now in this rule i'm going to say call blocking and then i'm going to call the rule which we just created here transformation so i'm going to call this rule here call blocking and in the destination type i'll put it as deny and in the cause code i'm to, going to give us unallocated number so whenever someone is trying to dial uh, from 10,008, he should receive this. This number is not valid, and click on OK. Okay, and I'll move this rule to the up so that so that it takes the highest precedence. So I check this and move this to the up. So click on OK. So call blocking is at the top, and service provider is at the below. Right. Now what I have to do is I have to make a call and see if it works or not. So if you notice here i dialed 30001 and the call is not working so it seems like uh, uh it is getting some message okay it says not found here on my phone now in order to validate if uh this is um, a right blocking or what is the um, error we are seeing on the sbc so let's go to the diagnostic and do a packet capture I come here and go and do a packet capture and here by default uh, your packet capture will not be enabled so you have to enable uh, 
packet capture first and once you enable this packet capture you have to start the capture so once you start the capture what you have to do is uh, you have to select the right interface here so let's say i select ethernet uh, one so ethernet one is where the calls are coming from and i do the tcp or udp port as 5060 and keep this host as blank click on ok and click on ok to perform the capture so you will notice the capture is started right now allow make a call so the call he's trying to make a call 10008 and the call is ended so i'll stop the capture now what i'll do is i'll download this particular capture here and open this capture so if you notice here right uh, so we'll see the invite here let's let me open this here okay so this guy tried darling 30001 and it gave it it got caught the error as 404 not found so which means the number is invalid right so this is the error which we have uh, sent to the person who has called this number now if you in case you want to change this error code right you have to come to this call blocking here and instead of no unlocated number you can also give as uh, user busy probably 17 user busy and apply so now we'll do another capture and see how does this work right so i'll go to the diagnostic I can click on restart last capture so I don't have to fill in the same details again. So Ethernet booth and then 50060. Okay. Now I make a call from 10008 again. So you see, I directly got a busy here message. Now I'll stop the capture and then now download this file. Let's see what happens now. Okay. So if you see this guy tried calling um, 30001, he received an error messages for 186 PCR. So this is how you can, you know, basically uh, reject the call uh, on the SBC uh, based on the cost code. So you can play around with the cost code and that's, that's what will be passed to the person who is calling in. Right. And now I want to show you an example how it uh, uh, in, in, in our scenario, right. 10,007 should be able to call. So we have tested so far with 10,008. So he's not able to call 10, 30,001 anymore. So what I'll do is I'll call from 10,007 10, 10, to 30,001 and he should be able to dial. So I make this as 10,007. And now let's dial 30,001. Okay. So this proves that our scenario is working properly. So which means uh, 10,008 is no longer able to call 30,001, whereas 10,007 is able to call 30,001. I hope uh, this is informative for you. Thank you for watching.